Blue's old friend Sidney Lewiston comes to visit. Then in his 80s, Sidney, a lifelong communist, reveals he's having second thoughts about his devotion to redness. <laughs> Blue tapes Sidney for an oral history, but he can't manage the editing and writing from his bed. In desperation, he calls Monica Modolo, an MFA <sighs> writing student from the college, to help with the book. Blue tries every conceivable kind of therapy to heal his back, but he has to face reality. He's a full-time writer in a part-time body. He gives himself permission not to be so ambitious. With Monica's <laughs> assistance, he comes out with a self-help book under the name Dr. Sky Jacobs. Yes, I Can't is marketed as a slacker's guide to not accomplishing your full potential. With Monica's help, Blue writes, Peace is just another word for nothing left to kill, <laughs> based on stories told to him by Gulf War veterans. Blue's 11-year-old daughter, Frida, is diagnosed with a rare and potentially deadly blood disease known as ITP. He will do anything to make sure Frida gets the best medical care in the world, and that takes money. He works on replacing the esoteric writing categories in his mind with more commercially viable ones that correlate to categories that actually exist in bookstores. With Monica's help, he writes his first book in a science fiction genre about genetically engineered hermaphrodites, which in time become the gender of choice for prospective parents. The Boomerang Case is a legal thriller about a man who is on such a litigation rampage, he finally sues himself. <laughs> with help from his writing factory, Blue comes out with anywhere from five to eight books a year. His first murder mystery, A Damn Good Plot, <laughs> followed by One Good Plot Deserves Another, followed by Plotsville, based on a movie made from the Damn Good Plot books. So he's got a thing going with movies.